Hello and welcome back to the workshop, and welcome back to the scrap guitar build, or great guitar build off build. Last we left off, we carved out the back of the guitar and the control plate. Today we're going to work on the front. So we got some boards to glue up, and then we can get to shaping. Let's get to it. Now, same as I did before, I'm going to clamp it down flat to my workbench and then add pressure here and we'll get it glued up. clamped a little wonky because of the shape but I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll come back. Now, the one benefit to this is that I already cut this neck pocket out and it fits real snugly so now I can use this as a template. After some fine filing, I've got it nice and snug, got it nice and squared. My board is all the way on here. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the body shape before I decide to push this down too far because otherwise it's going to get stuck. It's already on there pretty tight and it's not all the way down yet. Now that we got it stenciled on there, I'm going to go ahead and chop this on the bandsaw and then we'll get to shaping this. We've got the tenon nice and tight, we've got the body shape cut out, now all that's left to do is to flatten this out and hollow out the inside. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hollow out the inside first and then I'm actually going to glue it on before I do any of the final shaping. So let's get into it. So I started out by tracing the inner part of that, so I'm going to rough this down with the router. Now I've gone to the shallowest depth and then I'm going to carve the rest by hand and that'll give me the profile. I'm going to go to just the inside of this line so that I can round these over in the end here because I've got something interesting I want to do with the outer edge of it. All right we got the top glued on, we've got it hollowed out. So what I want to do is I want to address the sound holes first. I don't want traditional sound holes in the face of the guitar. What I want to do is I want to have them come from the sides here. So I want to get those determined first before I start doing any of the carving while this is still relatively flat. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to wrap it out a channel roughly on the edge here. And then I'm going to come in from the side and create those sound holes. And I think I want to do it here, and I think I want to do another one right about here. Just a small one. So before I get too carried away carving, I'm going to route those out. thinking. 
Obviously I'm going to have to do some sanding to clean that up. I'm going to poke some holes through here and then I'm going to cut the sound holes. And they're going to look a little something like that. Now before I get into the filing and shaping, I am going to carve down this bowl shape. Now you've seen that before, I did it on the back. I'm going to take my grinder tool and I'm going to rough it out and then I'm going to finish off with some hand carving planes. Alright, we've done a fair bit of sanding and carving. It's still rough around the center here. I don't want to do too much until I can get everything lined up. I know it seems like I'm skipping around a bit, and I am, but my main purpose for that is because I'm still waiting on hardware, and I don't want to line up too much until I get that hardware in, specifically the bridge. So I'm going to put this part on hold for now, aside from sanding, which I'm going to do off camera. But in the next video, I'm going to do something with these pieces of scrap. Stay tuned to find out what I'm going to do. It's an idea I've been kicking around for years now, and after some inspiration from Ben at Crimson Guitars, I am thinking that this is the perfect build to move forward with it. Watch for the next video to find out more. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.